Hello everyone, welcome to this class. My name is Ayo Amigun. I'll be your tutor for today. And our topic today is representative democracy. We'll be looking at a few objectives, which are what is representative democracy? How representative is the representative democracy? What are the characteristics of a representative democracy? Features of a representative democracy? Why is representative democracy? What are the benefits of representative democracy? We'll also be looking at the difference between direct democracy and re representative democracy. And the last one will be one major drawback of a representative democracy. Please go along with me. When we say representative, what do we mean? It's simply the form of government where citizens are qualified to choose their own representative to rule on their behalf. This form of government is complicated and can easily go wrong if not properly operated. We can see that representative democracy is citizen influenced. So, how representative is representative democracy? We can see here that representative democracy is a form of democracy in which people vote for representatives who then vote on policy initiatives as opposed to a direct democracy. It's a form of democracy in which people vote on policy initiatives directly. So let's look at the characteristics of representative democracy. We say 1. Higher corruption rate. 2. Majority rules in a, in a representative democracy. 3. Freedom to vote for personal choices. 4. Negligence in voting. 5. Bad voting for representatives. And the last one, people's rights as power to vote. So, what are the main features of a representative democracy? We see here that the power of the elected representative are defined by a constitution that establish the basic laws, principle, and framework of the government. That are the features of a representative democracy. So why is representative democracy? Why do we need it? In it, we see that the power is in the hands of the representative who are elected by the people. Political parties are often central to this form of democracy because electoral system requires voters to vote for political parties as opposed to individual representatives. We see under this Diagram we see democracy, which shows out that people's rights, majority voting, individualism, and politics all is being central on democracy. So, what is the major difference between direct and representative democracy? On the direct democracy, in this, people vote on policies directly, which makes them have influence. On the outcome of results and under representative democracy we can see that in this system the voters does not have direct control over the outcome of the results so what are the benefits of representative democracy the advantage is its efficiency a large group of people receive the benefit of living in a democracy by having one representative vote according to their needs, wishes, or desires. It saves time and money for the government so the fund can be used for other purposes. So before we go, we would like to look at one major drawback of representative democracy. And this is, in this kind of democracy, it's affected elected officials because if they are not required to fulfill promises made before their election and are able to promote their own self-interest once elected, providing an incoercive 
system of government. So before we go, I'd like to leave you with this exercise. One, what is representative democracy all about? Two, list the characteristics of representative democracy. And the last one, can a democracy be both direct and representative? Thank you very much. See you in our next class.